The Kemper Knights sweep Atlantic tonight, 3 0. Coach, uh, you get the win tonight. First set, you win by seven. Second set, you win by 11. You win by seven again. Uh, first set looked like you guys got off to a pretty good start. The second and third sets, Atlantic kind of had some small leads early on. Uh, what did you see that was different about that first set compared to the second and third right off the bat? You know, we just come down to serve receive. We missed a few here and there, and then kind of we kind of have a little couple errors here and there. Otherwise, I mean, overall, I think pretty good, but you get that one error that we do kind of silly stuff, and then well, we recover. That's a good thing. Talk about Atlantic. That's a team that you guys have just – really dominated over the last decade. Um, they, they struggled against you, and I think I counted about 42 sets in a row now that you have beat Atlantic going back 10 years. Last time they actually won a match or a set was my senior year back in 2009. Uh, what is it about your team and Atlantic that just matches up so well in favor of you guys? Yeah, I know you get that history. That's the biggest thing is you have the history of winning. I think it's hard to beat winners. It just is. And that's what I got to tell this team this year is we have to win to, to scare people. And it helps. I mean, so things like that work. Um, but overall, I mean, Atlantic team, you can see that the younger classes, they're coming up, and they're going to be very strong in the future. And I see it within the next couple of years. So it's not going to be that easy anymore. I know in the second set or maybe the third set, you guys were down uh, two or three points. That was, that was about the largest deficit you guys had all night. But you take a timeout, and then you rattle off about six or seven in a row. Uh, what were you working on in that timeout? And then uh, you have to feel pretty good when they react that quickly. Right. Now, the biggest thing was communication between our hitters and setters. You know, that's the biggest thing we're working on at that timeout. It was just, just talk, know where we're going with the ball. I think we had some confusion at times, a couple few times in there. But after we got that settled down, I think we recovered very well. Talk about uh, some of the girls that really stepped up tonight. I know Franny Glenn, she had a really nice night. She got the start. She hasn't started a ton this year, about a third of your games, but she played really well. And then uh, some of the other girls that you thought really did nice. Yeah, she always actually starts in a starting rotation and the barrel goes in for it. Um, she does play all the time, all year long. Uh, tonight was her night. I mean, she had one, uh, I thought, on Tuesday night, too. She played very good against Shenandoah, and she carried it over tonight. I mean, very proud of her. And you know, as I've seen her as, as she's grown up through AU and stuff, and it's nice to see it starting to develop as the season goes along when we're going to really need her. You talk about your team, and she's a freshman. You don't have a whole lot of seniors on the team. So how, how important is that in a, in, a, in a season where you don't have that overwhelming number of seniors that you can count on some of your freshmen and your sophomores to really step up like she did tonight? Yeah, exactly. That's what you need is somebody to step up like she did. Um, but, no, it's just the team has to, you know, that's what we're struggling with this year. You know, we lost all that stuff during the summer. And that's the kind of things where we're struggling with. Who is our team leader? And then they're starting to develop. You know, it's getting closer. And that's what we need somebody out there when things aren't going well. Who are we going to lean on? And I think it's getting closer. I think uh, Kenya you know, did a great job tonight. She's talking more, just communicating more, and that's going to help. We just talked to her, too, about the bench. She's like, now you guys tell the hitters what, what you see, too. If there's a double block, tell them to move it. So, you know, it's getting better. So I'm looking at leader yet, and it's getting close. Homecoming week for the Knights. I know yeah. <laughs> for volleyball, you don't do as much as it maybe for football, but uh, in 2020, it seems like it's really watered down. Uh, what kind of atmosphere did that create for the girls this week uh, yeah. with homecoming? 2020, for any coach would say, uh, <laughs> our homecoming is like, uh, let's get through this homecoming week. Every coach would say that. And we've been fortunate the last how many years to do play very well and during homecoming week. And this shows that, you know, they come to. You know, our practices sometimes get a little chaotic with all the stuff going on. You know, they come all dressed up in school, but they come in game time. They're already been ready to play, so that's I'm really happy about that. But as a coach, you know, thank goodness it's over. <laughs> uh, talking about your next games, it looks like you guys are oh back boy. in action. <laughs> uh, Hawkeye 10 play gets yeah. tough here the next week or so. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we start off Monday night. We'll play Glenwood. It's a reschedule from the date they originally put out there, so we're going to play on Monday night. Um, I did get the girls off. Friday practice because of homecoming, but I think we're going to be all right. Um, we're going to watch some tape on them. Told the girls, that's your job this weekend. Just watch some tape. Just look at, look at Glenwood, see what, what you think about them. Um, but Glenwood's a very strong team. You know, I predict them at the beginning of the year to be number one in our conference. But now Red Oak's taking that over, over that position, but they're very strong. Uh, but maybe this home court will help us a little bit. Well, we wish you the best, Coach, next week and uh, throughout the rest of the season. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Kemper head coach Keith Stickrod joining us after a 3-0 win over Atlantic tonight.